Hi everyone, just doing a short update from the garden. What will probably be my last uh, weekly update for this year. I may find some things to talk about as the fall goes on, but of course the garden is closing down this time of year, so there doesn't seem to be much reason to do a weekly update. I'll start off by showing you some of the apples on my pumpkin sweet heritage variety apple tree. Uh, they're much bigger than they normally are this time of year. They usually that, they get that size toward the end of the year, but uh, they do most of their growing in September and October, usually, but this has been such a, an unusual summer. Wonderful weather that they've developed quite early. I hope to uh, do some freezing of some for apple pies, and uh, also hope to try my hand at making some apple jelly a bit later on. It's been a fairly wet week, some heavy downpours and occasional showers, not actually a full rainy day any time, but we've managed to accumulate a little over an inch of rain, which I think for this time of year is pretty typical here. We get a lot of rain in the fall, so that's haven't had to do any watering in the garden, that's for sure. I just did a little harvesting to give you an example of the size of some things. Uh, starting from the far right in that row of four beets, the first sort of gold-colored one is a golden beet. Next to that is a Deacon Dan, and I believe the two next to that are both what they call Guard's Mark. Uh, planned in two different locations, but they look quite similar to me. I'm satisfied with the size of the Guard's Mark beets. Um, they're just a nice size beet. You can certainly see beets much larger than that. But Deacon Dan, I think I've picked one that's just about an average size of what I'm getting. And the same with the golden beet. They're not getting too large here. Earlier on, I'd thought that I would probably make pickled beets, which I like. But I've discovered that you can cook and freeze them. And I really enjoy the fresh beets, so I'm going to probably cook most of mine. And let them cool down, peel them, dice them up, and uh, freeze them in small freezer bags. And next to the beets are two of my carrots, which I complained so much about earlier on because they weren't growing, I didn't think. And now they're producing beautifully. I only have four cells, four square foot cells of, of carrots, and if every one produced, it would only be 16 seeds to a cell, so I haven't got a huge carrot crop. but. Not a big carrot eater anyway. My plans are to slice these into coins um, without peeling them because you don't have to peel such nice new fresh carrots. They don't really have that much of a skin. Blanch them and freeze them. I know there are many ways of, of keeping carrots in storage and sand and all that sort of thing, but in my opinion what you get then is the same thing that you can buy in the store anyway. It's a storage carrot. I think if they're blanched and, and frozen fresh out of the garden, you'll end up with more of the fresh carrot, the more delicate skin and, and uh, the sweeter fresh carrot. Anyway, that's my plan. That way they won't also won't spoil on me because I tend to buy carrots and throw half them out if you get to eat them. So this way they'll be frozen. I'll have them through the winter. A little look at the row of Savoy cabbages. On this row of four, Three of them are hitting up quite nicely. This one here, for some reason, all planted the same day, is just barely starting to head up, so I don't know if I stand a chance of getting a cabbage out of it or not. And then the one that I show frequently back here, and the fifth one in this area, is my my largest, and one that I consider the best-looking Savoy. See, all the holes in the leaves, I have been spraying weekly uh, with the BTK for the cabbage worm moth, caterpillar type thing, uh, and then I started seeing a lot of holes again. Well, I came out here on a particularly wet day and discovered that these holes are slugs, so I had to go buy some more organic slug bait in September of all times. You might be able to see down in there there are some little white specks, that's the organic slug bait, uh, which I think is doing its work. I, don't, I no longer see any slugs crawling around in here anyway. Anyway, as long as I get enough cabbage out of this to make sauerkraut, I'll be happy. And right here, it looks like I'm going to have at least four decent-sized heads, so that'll make enough sauerkraut for my one-gallon picklemeister jar. Now I'll do some bragging about my Brussels sprouts. I'm really pleased with how they're developing. I get an arm down in there so you can get something to compare to, but 
the ones on the top of each plant are the larger ones, but these are getting, I don't know, I guess three quarters of the size of a Brussels sprout that you usually see in a, in a market. So soon I will be harvesting and blanching and freezing Brussels sprouts. I'm going to try some fresh. I don't care for the fresh ones in stores. Every time I've bought fresh Brussels sprouts, I too strong. I don't like the flavor, but maybe fresh out of the garden they'll be better. But the strange thing is, I love the bags of frozen ones in stores. Freezing them seems to make them sweeter. So, if I don't care for the fresh ones here, I'll be freezing lots of them anyway. I'll have Brussels sprouts this winter. Well, this is being filmed on uh, September 15th, and this little square patch of just garden soil right now is where I planted uh, some spinach seed that uh, Giada KDN sent me, seed that he collected in his home garden. I planted them on the 9th, so this is either the 5th or 6th day, however how you want to count it. I planted them late, probably in the afternoon on the 9th. So no germination yet, but I'm sure they'll be up soon. We've had lots of wet, cool weather, and spinach is a cool weather crop. So looking forward to see if I can get some spinach later this fall. Well, one more try here to see if I can show you that rutabaga that was hiding in the shade the last time I did an update. Hopefully that exposes it. I have to, a few that size and a number that are quite a bit smaller. And like I said before, they, they stay in the ground here until we have hard frost. So I'm at least going to get a few. I love them. One of my favorite vegetables. And that concludes this update. And as I said before, I probably won't be doing weekly ones on on the garden anyway, other video topics maybe, but not, not on the garden. But I will be showing you some more of the harvest later on. I'll no doubt show you all the beets that I bring out and, and the carrots when I harvest them all at once and that sort of thing. Have a good day.